Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Dark Cloud 1. So I'm heading on into floor 26 and for this floor I'm going to be initially using Toen and Osman because their weapons are pretty close to leveling up. Um, especially Toen's. Like his weapon is like literally right there. So... Oh and I uh... What do you call it? Did restock on the uh... the different gems and stuff want to point that out. I think that these enemies are weak to ice, so I should switch to the ice attribute to deal with them. Do that very fast. No, thank you. Yeah, definitely weak to ice. And there we go. The ABS is now full on his sun sword. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, two more sapphire and two more of the paradox. Um... So now all the uh, elemental stats are kind of even for his weapon. Uh, for this guy, and several other enemies in this place, so I'm going to be using uh, Osmond to get his weapon leveled up. Uh, I should switch over to Fire against this one. Yay! Okay, how much damage does he do normally? Yeah, not enough. It's better to switch, unfortunately. It's too bad you can't remove the elements from uh, his weapon. Okay, that leveled up his weapon, or the ABS is full on it, rather, so let's upgrade. I'm gonna stick to two Garnet and one Sapphire, because the Sapphire increases MP and the Garnet's increase attack, and those are the only stats that he needs now. Uh, Anti-freeze amulet, huh? I'll heal up Toen and Osmond here very fast, since they're the only characters I've used so far. And then go, let's see, I think I'll go down. Oh, I may not be able to go down. I don't know if I have the key yet. Do I? I'll find out in a second. No, I don't have it yet. Okay. I ought to pay more attention to that. It's not the first time that's happened where I wasn't sure if I got it. Uh, defeat this guy. I like to go into the locked rooms because usually those are dead ends, but it's not always the case. Uh, I don't know why I'm still using him right now. I guess I'll use him still. I may start using uh, Toen again as well for just this floor and switch over to other characters for the other floors. Now, there's the key I was looking for, but I'm going to continue this way. Hopefully it'll dead end. Eh, not so... not yet. Um, uh, he should be able to handle her. Ah! Really? Stop that. Okay, use your long-range attack on me. Really? This is getting a little bit annoying. Come on. Uh, this is actually a little bit shocking to me. Like, that that whole fight made no sense. Uh, okay, so I can deal with these guys with the holy element. I'll uh, heal him up with uh, another item. But yeah, that, that fight was weird. Uh, thankfully, not much damage is being done to my weapons against these guys. Nope, not letting you hit me. Wow, that was close. Um, yeah, I almost got hit. Gotcha. And uh, now let's go this way. And, uh, hope that there's some enemies in here for... Yeah, this is an enemy for Osmond. That was exactly what I was about to say. Really? Is it because it's, like, jumping off the ground barely or something? That could be it. A little bit awkward to fight against those things in the first place, and then to have it basically dodging everything. I am going to go into the back room, 
but uh, after I clear out everything. Yeah, I'll weaken her with with him if if the attacks don't constantly miss. This is weird. Uh, I know why I'm not dealing much damage, but I guess it's me being too stubborn to uh, switch. Okay. Oh. Duh. I need to switch for his weapon as well. Hopefully the, uh, the other enemy in this room is in a Yamich. I mean, I have to switch again. It is. Oh well. Switching is fine. I oughta have every character set up with a different element. So that way I only need to switch characters instead. It seems like the most logical thing to do, but... For right now, I'm not being logical. Oh! I can deal with this guy. With him. After that last fight with them using Osmond, I... I don't know. Wow! Only treasure chests. Well, and mimics, for sure, but... That map will actually come in handy, even though it's not handy on this particular section of the floor. It'll come in handy for the back room, because it'll reveal the details there. At least I'm pretty sure that that's how that works. Uh, here we go. Anti-freeze amulet. Oh, there's a treasure chest behind me. A magical power. And finally, an anti-curse amulet. Cool. Now, who am I going to fight first? A horn head, huh? Can I even deal any damage to it? Oh. I guess I should change the element. It looked uh, like the holy element to me when I was shooting, but guess not. I'll let him defeat that one since he had already dealt that much damage, but I think I'm going to try to let Toen defeat the next one of those enemies that I find. You know, just spamming any attack at this point is probably the most efficient way to deal with the fact that it's missing constantly. Uh, thankfully, there is a healing pond in this particular floor, so that'll make things a little bit easier when I'm going back to the... Exit. Yeah, you know, after I defeat everything. I'll weaken this guy and then let uh Toen deal the finishing blow. Come on. Good. What about this next one? Oh, it's an another anti Madu. I didn't know how I'd, how to feel about this. I think I'll let uh Osman. Oh. I keep forgetting. They don't take any damage at all, unless you have, uh, ice on. Okay, cool, the APS is full. Upgrade. Okay, since MP maxes out at 28, I'm not gonna equip the Sapphire on him this time. Instead, I'm just gonna equip another, uh, Garnet, since his MP still, uh, I mean, attack power still isn't maxed out yet. Uh, but if it comes down to it, I can always, uh, put another one on there. I think I'm gonna use, uh, Ruby as my next range character in this particular, you know, area. As opposed to Osman, because I don't want to max out his weapon completely just yet. Uh, I want to still be able to feel like I can use him, you know, in battle and stuff. Because if I completely have his, you know, him maxed out, then I won't feel like using him when other characters aren't maxed out. So I should be using her right now uh, with ice. Here you go. Uh, she doesn't do as much damage as I'd like, but that's fine. As her weapon uh, stats increase, that'll change. 
Okay, good. Uh, I think I'll go to the right now. Hopefully this treasure chest will give me, like, a sapphire garnet. Ah, oh well. It feels like the treasure chests in the back rooms for this particular dungeon are stingy. Like, they give me a lot of dino slayers and sky hunter things and whatnot, but they don't really give me, uh, you know, any gems, usually. Except for emeralds. I found a couple of emeralds. I don't know why they're giving me emeralds. Almost there. I think it would have been faster to use Toen. Oh, one of these guys. I'll... I guess I'll just switch over to uh, Toen for this. Hopefully he's... Yeah, he's fine. Oh my goodness. He's not fine. He's definitely not fine. Uh, I do have Holy equipped though, right? Let me see. Yeah, I do. Okay. As long as Holy is equipped, then I'm not as worried about it. But it's still kind of dangerous. Gotcha. Oh, why'd that lose the uh, target? That was weird. Anyways, I should restore my HP on the weapon. And maybe uh, let him defeat the next enemy if there is one, because only treasure chests left. Could be a mimic, though. Ooh, a topaz. That's different. Uh, so hopefully one of these is a mimic, because I think his EXP is close enough to level up. Oh, an aquamarine. Now that's useful. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Be enough EXP to level up my weapon. Huh? Come on. Was that enough? No, it wasn't. How close is his weapon? I thought I saw it saying it was pretty close. Oh, I misread it. Okay, 220 out of 270. I'll probably level up his weapon one more time in the next floor. Anyways, let's get out of here. Onwards to floor 27. I'm gonna be uh, using Toen here a little bit to get his weapon leveled up one more time. And then I'll focus on Ruby and one other character. Probably either Ongaga or Goro. Uh, depends, really. But I think that he can handle the enemy right in front of me. Whoa! Assuming I don't keep getting hit. I don't like how the music keeps cutting out. It's weird how it does that. Anyways, I forgot to buy uh, healing items. He'll be fine, though. No. Ah. Got hit again. I'm hoping that his weapon is close to leveling up. Should be getting close. Magical crystal, there's one more, and it's another one of these things. You know what, I will use a healing item, just in case. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Okay, finally. You know, it's ABS is full, so let's upgrade. So now I have two options. Either I could try to get these even closer to being maxed out, and, and, you know, I could, like, go up to plus 13 or something and have, you know, a couple of them already maxed out or whatever. Or I could build up right now to Big Bang. And it would actually probably go even faster at that point. Okay, I'm gonna build up to Big Bang now. Uh, for his weapon. Because I think that the progress for upgrading its the rest of its stats will be faster this way. So, built up to Big Bang. Star energy is condensed and creates swords energy. That's what it says in the lower right hand corner. And there's still this that I have to do. So MP is the only stat that I have to worry about for uh, upgrading it to its next form. But it only has three slots. Now that sucks because it had four slots before. Hmm. So I'm going with Ruby, Sapphire, and Peridot this time. The Ruby increases fire. The Sapphire increases Wind, and the Peridot increases Holy, and they also affect uh, these stats as well, you know, MP, Speed, and Attack. 
anyways, uh, I'll be using Ruby for the next encounter. Uh, which is very close by. Thankfully, the, uh, what is it called, lets me know just how close the magic crystal. I don't know if she'll defeat it before it yeah, does that. Nope. It's shooting out fireballs, but it's not weak to, fi uh, to ice. Or water, or whatever you want to call it. I think it's ice. Anyways... Uh, where is it? Oh, there you are. Oh wait, this one should be strong against ice, right? Yeah, so I should... Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll do that very fast. I was gonna switch over to Goro or Ungaga and have them uh, do that, and I did not expect that guy to come up right behind me. That actually surprised me a little bit. Didn't even realize that there was another enemy in the area. Okay. You gotta stop doing that. Thank you. Okay, for you, uh, Goro. Come on. Thank you, Goro. And um, made that fight way easier. And he'll do the same for this one as well. Seriously. A treasure chest key was found. Don't need those, though. At least I don't think so. Oh, good. There's a water pond right over here. That'll help a lot. Particular for... Whoops. Not for her. For Ruby. And I think even Toen needs a little bit as well. I could be wrong. Uh... He didn't really need it, but it's fine. Anyways, I'll let him take out one. Yeah, I'll use a combination of Goro, Ruby, and uh, Ungaga here to deal with the enemies that I find. Hopefully, I'll find another one of those uh, undead guys that I just fought. You know, sometimes it feels so clunky fighting against these guys. Whoa. Uh, for sure her. That's why I have fire on her after all. Stop doing that. I'm hoping that I can keep it from doing that by hitting it fast enough, but... It didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Okay, you. <laughs> it did cancel that rolling animation a couple of times there. It likes to do it after it gets hit by her. I don't know if she's a good matchup against those. It might be better to let uh, Goro handle those. Have him set to a uh, fire attribute. I think he would uh, tear them apart. Oh, I'm suddenly getting fire gems for some reason. Uh, okay, Ungaga, you're up. I'm keeping an eye on the minimap to make sure nothing is coming up from behind me. Okay, good. I thought I was about to revive. Okay, first things first. There's this guy over here that I want to get rid of. Um, no, thank you. Okay, now her. I'll keep using her against these guys for now. But, I don't know, it might have been a mistake. Eh, it worked out well enough that time. Let's open this and then go into that last room before I can leave. Uh, wind, huh? Ooh, another one of these guys. Uh, Ungaga is getting a lot of use in here. I wonder, can I get it to walk right into this? Yes, I can. Yay! Okay, let's get out of here. Floor 28. I, uh, restocked on some gems and stuff. 
you know, preparing for characters having their weapons leveled up. I didn't have to restock on very many, though. Um, so let's go ahead and have Umgaga take care of this one. Huh. Gotta love how the music cuts out like that. Uh, so his weapon just got enough ABS to upgrade. And now I'm faced with the question of what do I need to increase now? So thunder and attack still. Okay, I'm going with garnet, which increases attack and fire. Uh, amethyst, which increases ice. The uh, pearl increases thunder. And the sapphire increases MP, which maxes it, and wind. Um, so now I'm gonna switch over to Ruby, probably. Because her weapon still hasn't leveled up, I don't think. Oh! This is actually a good enemy for uh, Goro. So let's uh, do that then. Yay! Uh, they're so much easier in this game compared to Dark Cloud 2. Although, I didn't really have a character like Goro and Gar Dark Cloud 2 to take care of him. What? Whoa, where'd that one appear from? It felt like it just appeared out of nowhere. I got kind of lucky that it just stood there and let me do that. Whoa. Darn it. Darn you. Maybe I can uh, beat it up before you get a chance to do that again. Stop that. And I had to heal, unfortunately. You know what? I'll let Ruby take care of this one. Oh. Is, is fire the right attribute? I don't think it matters. I don't think any of them really do any increased damage to these guys. At least I don't remember any of them doing increased damage. I may not have tested against those guys, actually. It's possible that the holy element or something will uh, do more damage. I should have tried it. There is a healing pond in here, which is nice. Oh, that's awesome. Always nice to find both the map and the uh, compass right next to each other. It makes things so much easier. Oh my goodness. First of all, the drain's feather just broke. Uh, I'll have to restock on some of those a little bit later. Second of all, Goro is up. And is that the only one? Nah, I will. I imagine that there's another one in a different room, but I doubt there's one in here. Oh, I should try the holy element. So, go to holy. No, oh, it doesn't do any increased damage. I'll try a different element very fast. Uh, thunder. Maybe that'll do increased damage. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Maybe ice always did increase damage to these guys and I just never noticed. Doesn't matter now. Uh, here we are. Oh, there's another rocking off in the background there. I definitely don't mind fighting them with him. Although my... HP for my weapon is getting a little bit low, so I don't know how much damage that did to his weapon before. I don't dare risk it. Um, come on, you. Thank you. Kind of like how they just come right up to you. Those invincibility frames really do help. So the next room has the healing pond and a single enemy. Uh... I'll take care of the enemy first. Okay. Mwahahaha. <laughs> gotta love how it does that much damage all in a row like that. I think I need to heal Umgaga as well, right? Yeah, just slightly. Uh, I'll switch to her. A bigger chance of me having to use her. Yeah. Uh, do I still have the holy element equipped? No. Uh, I'll try ice against this enemy, though, very fast. Okay, it's, it might be ice. That did quite a bit of damage. 
but I'll try wind as well now. Yeah, it's not wind. Okay, I'll switch to holy and just defeat all three of these enemies with her. I wonder if using a stamina drink on her would be a good idea. It might be. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Although, there's only uh, three enemies left, including this one. Unless this, this treasure chest is a mimic, or the other one is. Okay, so far so good. And I'll leave you and you to Goro. Come on, Goro, you got this. Um, yeah, I need to... Let me, let me... No, 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 no. It wouldn't let me open my uh, menu. It still won't. Okay, there we go. Whoops. That was a little bit weird. I wanted to restore my HP first. My weapon. Hey, okay, that dealt 12 points of damage. Uh, whoops. I sold the key I was, uh, that I found before, because I knew that the Martin Garion thing would, uh, let me open this without any problems. Let's grab this, and now I can get out of here. And here's floor 29. Uh, I'm gonna be focusing on a combination of Goro, Ruby, and Zhao. Uh, Goro and Ruby because their weapons are almost leveled up, and Zhao because I haven't used her yet in this video. Um... So, you know what? I'll actually let Zhao take care of this one. I think that she'd be a good matchup against this guy. Uh, hopefully, anyways. Uh, so far, not too bad. Yeah, I think that that's a lot better than uh, doing that with the uh, other. And then Goro can handle the Yamich. Well, assuming it won't keep running away. There we go. And let's open up this treasure chest. Hope for the map. Eh, I got a key, which is just as good, I suppose. Um, open this. Some petite fish, huh? Let's open up this door so that way we can get attacked by those enemies. Okay, you. Zhao will take care of you. Uh, slowly but surely. I hate how it gets defended when it does that rolling attack. It's like it's putting up a guard. Oh, wrecking off. I, I actually want to try something when uh, the rocking off enemies one of these times. I don't know if I've tested it yet, but I want to try to use Osmond against one of them. Uh, Zhao is good for this. Oh. Well, she would be good for this if her weapon was set correctly. You know what? Let's switch over to Ruby. And see what her current uh, attribute is. I think it's set to Holy, so... I'll set it to Ice. And then that way I have Zhao set to Fire, Ruby set to... Ice and uh, Goro is set to Holy, I believe. Combination of three different characters with three different attributes. I think that'll work pretty pretty well uh, overall. Hmm. For saying there, I thought I saw the uh, healing pod in here, and then I realized it was just one of those circular things that can either buff you or debuff you or steal your money. Whatever it is that they do. Oh. Uh, you know what? I will test this out with uh, him very fast. Okay, so he can hit those. It might be that there's a problem with smaller enemies. Because the hitbox might be funny or something on uh, his attack. Anyways, uh, let's have Goro deal the finishing blow to this one. As well as this one. 
I got kind of lucky there that I managed to pull off that charge deck, and I almost stepped into that thing uh, right there. Wow, this is a pretty long hallway. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, I keep an eye on my weapon HP. Thankfully, it's pretty high for her, but I don't know about for uh, Goro. No, you don't. Yeah, almost got me, but not quite. Uh, oh boy. I was getting stuck on something. It was probably the wall there. I can deal a lot more damage at point-blank range, which is nice. But, yeah, to be a little bit brave to get that close with a, a ranged character. Okay, you. There we go. Oh, the ABS is full. Finally. So now to focus on the Endurance, SP, and MP, because now I can build this up into Inferno whenever I feel like it. Okay, so a Pearl to max out Endurance. Uh, Ruby to increase speed, and a Sapphire to increase MP. Now, admittedly, I probably don't need the Ruby for speed, because I don't think that he'll actually attack faster, but I'm doing it just in case it helps. So now, let's switch over to Ruby, I guess. Switch between Ruby and uh, Zhao against the next groups of enemies. Uh, at least until Ruby's weapon levels up. Which I'm assuming it will soon, because it was around the same amount of XP, yeah. There we go. So I'm going with Ruby, which will max out her SP. And it also increased fire. A pearl will increase thunder. And the sapphire will increase wind. Now it's just a matter of uh, having Zhao fight a bit to level up her weapon. Which, uh, now I think about it. I probably want to change the attribute to holy against these guys. But, uh, yeah, I think her weapon's gonna level up here soon because it's at a low level right now. The enemies in here have all been giving a lot of EXP. A magical crystal. Oh, that tells me that that one room that goes down, uh, that might be the exit, actually. I'll find out here in a second, because there is a treasure chest in this room, and it should have the map. So, oh, the ABS is full. So, all of these stats are full. The only ones, as well as these ones. So, the only ones I have to worry about are these, and I think for this time I'm going to be increasing Thunder, Wind, and Holy. There we go. I can't upgrade it yet, obviously. I still need to get the XP to upgrade it, but... At least, uh, for now, that's good. So let's open this treasure chest, see if it has the map like I think it does. It does. And yeah, that tells me that one path that was going down before was, in fact, the exit. I'm surprised I didn't notice that before. Uh, okay, the question is, is what will deal the most damage to this guy? I don't think it matters. Hmm. I don't like how fast it... I don't like how fast they move at all. At least I managed to defeat it at the end there. Let's get out of here. And finally, floor 30. So we're almost about a third of the way through this dungeon. Uh, at floor 33, we'd be about a third of the way through. So that'd be nice. Or that will be nice when we get there, rather. Uh, for this floor, I want to use a combination of Cohen and Zhao. Um... I'll use Zhao against uh, this enemy right here. I just got a first set to ice. And hopefully defeat this one quickly enough before it you know, does too much damage to me. There is another one. Okay, I'll let Cohen deal with that club. Oh boy. I uh, almost got gotcha. Stop guarding. And stop trying to hide behind other enemies. There we go. Okay, now Toen. It's your turn. 
There we go. That's the first time using his weapon. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so is there anything else in here? I don't think there is. Let's continue on this way. Um, okay, so a couple of clubs. Easy enough to handle. There we go. Hopefully his weapon will level up sooner rather than later because it is uh, a new weapon in the sense that I upgraded it, you know, recently. Yeah, I think, yeah, his ABS just filled up. Awesome. Select upgrade. The build up says I still need uh, MP. So I'm going with an Aquamarine, which uh, increases ice. The Pearl increases thunder and the Sapphire increases wind and that'll max out the wind stat. The Sapphire also increases the uh, MP. Now let's switch over to Zhao. Let her get a little bit of fighting in. Oh. Grab this very fast. Hopefully it's a crystal. Eh, whatever. It'd have been nice to get the crystal there. Yeah, magic crystal that is. I don't want to get hit by that other enemy behind me. You're gonna be a witch, huh? Hmm. Poisonous apples. Gotcha. Okay, I'll let Toen deal with this club here. Because I do kind of want to get his weapon leveled up again. His uh, elemental stats are getting close to being maxed out, which is nice. Oh, the map. Okay, that tells me that there are two ponds in here, which is very, very nice. Uh, oh. Let her deal with the anti medus I think that overall she's better at it. Staff Garden. There we go. Sheesh. Hey, okay, let's go up first since... Uh, I can always go down and use that healing pond before leaving a little bit later. Oh. Darn it. There we go. Uh, oh, the ABS is full. Awesome. So let's go ahead and upgrade. I think I may switch to a different character though after this upgrade. I'll see. So this is what I'm thinking. Because her stats, like, are here are maxed, and obviously these are all maxed, and these ones still need a little bit more to go, uh, I think it's actually in my best interest to just build up to Divine Beast title. Um, which I just did. Hopefully it has four slots. Uh, it doesn't. Can I build up again, though? Yeah, if I increase my attack and uh, a different stat, okay. So I'm going with Garnet, which increases Fire, uh, Peridot, which increases Holy, and a Sapphire, which increases Wind. And the uh, Garnet and Peridot increases Attack, and the Sapphire increases Magic. I'll, I'll use her a little bit more in this dungeon, hopefully with her weapon now being at level 0, essentially, you know, I can... Maybe get a little bit of EXP for it. We'll see. Uh, that said, I am going to use Toen against enemies like these guys. There we go. So, Xiao. I don't know if she's really doing that much more damage at this point or not, but whatever. Uh, doesn't matter. Heal up right there. Okay, Toen, you're up. Hopefully one of them will have their weapon level up before I leave this uh, floor. Uh, heal them all up very fast. Although, I may not need to heal everybody. I think it's just those two, so... Let's uh, grab this. And... It's a magical crystal that tells me there aren't any more enemies in here. Crazy. 
There is one more treasure chest though, besides this one. Okay, oh, there was an enemy left. Uh, Zhao can take care of this one. I right, got an escape powder, huh? Uh, for some reason I always expect to get something better than, um, you know, just a simple escape powder from these guys. They are kind of special after all. So I'll heal up here for everybody and then uh, leave the dungeon. Okay, so this is where I'm going to be stopping. Thanks for watching. The next time I play, I'll obviously be continuing further into the dungeon. Um, aside from that, I may have to restock on some of this stuff. It's a little bit annoying having to go back to fish every time I, you know, start to get low on fishing points. But I usually take a couple hours to get back to where I need to be. Anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.